Good morning. We're well into term two now. I hope it's going well for you. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to talk to you just about a few things which you might want to bear in mind as we plan the term ahead and as we plan the year ahead. On Friday, you would have received notification of our plans for activities week in July of 2025, right at the very end, the very last week of the academic year. And note that it's the last week of the academic year, not the second from last week of the academic year, which it's been over the last couple of years. We've got loads of great activities planned for our youngsters. On the Monday, most of the students will be in school doing things like STEM activities and activities in the English department. STEM, by the way, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. And then on the Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, there are for each year group two sort of packages of um, trips and events for them to get involved in. They'll sign up to package A or package B. That's going to make it easier for you to choose which activities you want to get involved with. Another bit of feedback we receive from you, which we've acted upon, is we're now arranging our trips and our activities by, by year group rather than by house group. That means that students get to spend the week with their friends of their own age because they're separate, they're, they're organised by year group. And then the week finishes with a sports day. That is a house activity and there's a great deal of friendly house rivalry as they compete to uh, score the most house points, win the most races. Uh, it'll be a lovely way to finish our school year together. A big celebration of what makes Bourneside such a special place. Now, I also wanted to talk to you about attendance because this is the time of year when I guess it's drizzly outside and it's a bit cold and damp in the mornings. This tends to be the time of year when attendance sort of drops a little bit. So it's an appeal to everybody, to students and to parents, to brush off the grey morning doldrums, to, to, to disregard the snivels and colds that are sort of a part of what we do this time of year and push through that and get into school. We see every year that the students who make the best academic progress are the students who attend school. So overcome the difficulties, overcome the little snivels and get yourself into school and that will make a difference. We know we've got all the data to prove it that will make a difference to the progress that you make. And finally, just a reminder about the Lion Aid concert that's taking place on Wednesday at six o'clock. It's in aid of the Lion Aid charity, which we've been supporting throughout the year. If you can't make the concert, then uh, click on our latest news page on our website. There's an opportunity there for you to donate as well. Thanks very much. I hope the rest of this week and indeed the rest of this term until I speak to you again in December goes really well.